They say good things come to those who wait. Well, I guess I'm gonna be at least an hour late. You've been so good to me, allow me to demonstrate. Hey, we're loving you, don't have to wait. Come- Welcome to Duke and Thai. My name is Wanang, also known as Duke. And on today's episode, Thai will be ghosting because our little angel <laughs> is awake. So, um, on this here platform, we have conversations with myself, Duke, and my husband, Mugamuso, who is behind the lens today, aka ghosting. Say hi, babe. Happy! You look chinchile. Ah, wow. What's uh, in One, I am ghosting. Uh, two, we're no longer two in the set. Three, there's you, there's me. Then there's baby M. I think we need to find her like a name. I can't want you are you are Duke Arm Tie. Mm. What are we gonna call it? I think any mini Duke. Then I can even meet a what was it? Was it the Segway? Yeah, I did the Segway. Segway. But this is like episodes. Uh, not really episode, but on that like her own little little corner there, right? Mm-hmm. So happy New Year! How how are you in the New Year? Uh, I am great. I am. Yeah, you're all bloated up. I'm a mother, so we hey. see you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I've always wanted one. <laughs> <laughs> so, good question. How Omotelo or Omwe Happy New Year until when? I know there's always comment comment on social media for me. I had a big young tire. Yeah, the New Year you should really stop with Go for Lane and Happy New Year. And Are you one of those people? Yes, I say it on the day. If I haven't said it on the day, if I see you, I won't make a big deal of it, but I'll be like, oh, happy new year. Yeah, I don't know, but I don't know, but I don't know, but I feel like that pressure isn't necessary, you know? You should say it, man. Uh, it's not everybody who's going to see the new year. Uh, so now for me, it's always like, okay, happy new year, happy new year, happy new year. I think I'd say it until end of Jan, even mm-hmm. Feb. Mm-hmm. Whenever I feel like it, I say it. Uh, maybe I'm one of those annoying people, but... Uh, with that said, thank you so much to the child for being here. Mm-hmm. Uh, we really appreciate you. We're looking forward to 2023 with mm-hmm. yourselves. Yes. You know, we'll see where things go. Yeah. Where, for my baby M will have like her own little little segment on the channel. Yeah. Because clearly she, she's hogging the spotlight. Yeah. She's always quite eager. Every time we shoot, we try to put her to bed, but she, she it doesn't stay that way. She wakes up. So on this episode, we are continuing with our Botsetsi, with our Botsetsi series. We're trying to wrap it up and dive back into, you know, your gray wall conversations, day-to-day life. So in covering Botsetsi, we thought, oh yeah, Botsetsi. What is Botsetsi to you, Bogamoso? How would you explain to someone who doesn't know Sotswana or doesn't understand what is Bozeti in the Sotswana context. Ah, mm-hmm. yeah, I don't get any more paper three. Yeah, yeah, King, is it That's English? Yes, Swan. Okay, so for me, Bozeti uh, after a mother uh, gives birth, uh, obviously they need a bit of time just to adjust to being a mom. Mm-hmm. They need time to heal uh, because you know uh, when you're given birth, it takes some some physical toll on you, physically, mm-hmm. mentally, emotionally. Mm-hmm financially all the the alleys right Mm -hmm. yeah so for me it's just that period a period of healing a period of bonding with your child undisturbed and uh trying to cut off as much of the world as possible and just focusing on yourself and focusing on the baby so that's that's my understanding yeah about it yes how was your experience um my experience well our first we began by how would I how would I we began by deciding the where element of where would we like to sort of take a breather at where would we like to have Bozetsi at and we we talked about it as the, the members of the tribe. Okay, all right, great. We talked about it and. <laughs> I remember it as you sort of deciding <laughs> or telling me or what Don Nella was this guy. But okay, so, it's interesting. Wow, okay. So 
it's honestly because it's a uh, getting thought that as after giving birth after you push out after i pushed out this 3.3.36 kg girl <laughs> i thought to myself in that condition got a having needing to be taken care of who would i be most comfortable with kenwala so i thought this is a first time thing also my mom my mom would be the person my go to person my mom would be the person who know what i wouldn't mind i love her if there are any stitches then she'd have to check i wouldn't mind her you know seeing because she's my mom she's seen me through everything she's yeah so yes Yeah, most swanning, kitsor le most swanning normally uh uh obona mo nalo lo apa you are married uh how much have okay right bom bo rakela pileni mo mo tho kwa rakali but most swanning le hone uh when you have your first child normally go say it's about never go your mom like you are saying mm-hmm. how come getting that right uh, but i know that there's there's that agreement in principle it's not in writing but it's in principle to say yeah how nalo mo na go ntha and then what is you can still have it go go regular pill which is at your 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 mom's or in your 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 pop screens right mm. and then the second kid and then kid and fourth and fifth and sixth which i hope we do get there uh then that's <laughs> that's when you would have your what is go go my my mom or my my side of the family yes so well not really it's khadmala and you see what happens of an old set up for second kid of her yes well we got this Yeah because I think things have become a bit more modern so like mm. you were saying also hello mo gore mo to come to boli kai mostly but mo like again like most stunning most stunning it's uh, it's normally but it's not that really cast in stone though Yeah back in the day it was uh, it was like a custom you know these unwritten rules <laughs> And the well, rules. I need to get rules. Yeah, baby, I want to say something, but those unwritten rules would be that yeah, can I keep a baby number one at your parents' place, and then baby number two, three, four, five, six. That's when you go to Koto Mot, you know, our home village. No. Yeah. So yeah, I think we can we can go on from here. So, so after that. So then after that, there was after. Yes, after labor and delivery and almost breaking up with my husband. Um we finally welcomed our beautiful baby girl and we finally got discharged from the hospital after being given the go ahead for a mother's good, baby's good, you are good to go. So we head on home because um, mama had already been preparing at the house so she was already a room ready and waiting for baby M and I and we'd already sent over a few things to her baby M so we just headed straight there and it was a surreal experience driving home in the car with this new bundle of joy Elongore is yours like mana hala ya no abotenela ngozadi that's you like there's no Three months, 
we would start at mom's house but then we would shift to our house so that we sort of get used to the environment and also get used to having but also but like still confinement just change of location yes so that was quite interesting for us so a typical day yamuzetsi would entail um you wake up from whatever time you passed out because very young babies are hectic so you wake up and you have to feed them so you begin by feeding so during that first week we found that we had to what's the word not the word we had to feed the baby formula because the milk is just coming it's just starting to come in it hasn't fully come in yet full force so you have this to, is breast milk, guys. Yes, so you have to also give some formula while the baby keeps trying the boob to stimulate the breast milk. Mm -hmm. So um, during that first week, finally the milk came in, and yo, when the milk comes in, it comes in. Hey, I felt good at and then. No, no, no. <laughs> so then the milk comes in and as it fills the boob, there's no space for it. The milk is in here. Mama, and, I, 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 and then I know, I know. And, and then I'm like, what is happening here? I'm like, Mama, is this normal? Mama's like, it's different for every person. Some people experience it. Some people don't. So then the milk was heavy and it was filling up and here I am trying to grab this baby to help relieve this this pressure that I'm feeling and baby M was just down some now nah, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, so not to take you back, mm. um, I want you to us to talk a bit more about uh, I think the visitation and mm. uh, right most swanning in our culture. Uh, like I said when I started, normally yeah. uh, you are confined to a space as mm. Mozete mm. and there are certain, uh, you know, people are not really allowed to mm -hmm. people are not allowed to see the baby, yes. there are certain utensils that you use, or like you want a specific person, so how was that for you? Let's start with the visitors, where visitors are allowed. So with me, we've got a guest, so how do we get a guest? There's a term that we use But out in these streets <laughs> So you try to limit interaction to as few people as possible for the new baby who's adjusting to this new environment And also for the mother who's also recovering mm -hmm. So you try to limit people So what we did is we came up with a list Because we are who we are So we came up with a list of people who are um during this process during this during this time these are the people by long they can drop by to come say hi to come see the baby and only these people nobody else if you're not on the list ask his rsvp uh, <laughs> it's just that you will see the baby when they are a bit bigger or something just yeah yes yeah and maybe uh thank you to uh, people for respecting that you know mm -hmm. uh, because sometimes that can be can can sever relationships or oh uh you know i've been so excited to see your baby the baby is here but mm -hmm. uh, so because i think because of Botswana, uh, we still pretty much respect culture mm -hmm. so a lot of people were very understanding some never even really asked mm -hmm. and there are certain people that we had on the list that never really came mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. one six months one or one three months yeah. also you know a bit a bit stronger oh. so a shout out to, to young people there for respecting our our culture mm -hmm. and still for our, our ways of doing things right funny thing is when we were talking about it we said so at some point it's like nah i feel like this should be six months people can see the baby after six months yeah i was being ambitious <laughs> <laughs> so you find that after you have a child kind of when you're expecting you your perspective on a lot of things changes 
now you're like mm, maybe the baby does need six months to just you know breathe everything in take in this world take in this new environment and maybe we should give them the time and just have people wait mm. Mm. and then for me canale you know i'll keep referring to to our culture because of Botswana, mm. and i am one of those people who really believes in, in our culture but um there's there's a reason behind our customs and traditions yes, there is. because if you really look at it maybe the immune system or when a baby is still young you really want to limit or control the environment mm. so that's what obviously they won't explain it scientifically like that mm. but there was a good reason as to why there was uh, limited access to the baby and so the even, even, yeah even to the mom but for me uh now i got full access even though when i moved it i saw them as often as i could because i had to double between that and and work mm. uh, but the little free time that i had i'll always make sure that i go check on on you and and baby m right yeah. so they cannot technically the baby is uh four months in baby m is four months in uh when come on day right yeah it's the 16th of uh of jan mm-hmm. so some sort of it is technically right because we're agreed we're agreed we're agreed for six months but how, how's that going are you out i want to do the moon to i want to do the moon to what's what's that been like um honestly speaking we do leave the house but we leave the house very very rarely at most you'd i'd leave the house maybe once in what once in two weeks so i still very much try to limit interaction with the outside world i only ever leave if i have to uh leave for doctor's appointments i leave if like i need something desperately and i can't wait for buka to bring it yes but honestly we're just trying to and also she also sleeps with me try to strengthen that immune also because keeping her in this bubble i can't keep her in a bubble forever i need to build this immune system i also mm-hmm. need to ensure that she's not shocked mm. like the dilaz are getting out of it's people everywhere so mm. slowly just gradually introducing her to the fact that there's people out there and she's really so excited when she's out i remember we traveled to the north uh in december mm. and she was out there you know when i did car i want about to like the excitement on her face was just was so cute mm. one of her she's really discovering the world and then she's becoming her own little person yes yeah. so i was trying to cover like a typical day in the life of mozeti no i don't know how much no i don't know tell us the truth please so no, you don't know how much no, no, actually you were eating rice krispies and muesli Oh, that's what i did the lie <laughs> why are you lie so a typical day is wake up in the morning i get the babies there and then have so honestly you wake up you feed the baby because breastfed baby you feed on demand whenever baby wants baby gets breast so after that you have breakfast for breakfast normally i'd have either motoro aka soft porridge motoro kamadila or i would have um oats with milk or i would have rooibos tea and bread mm. and weirdly enough i've grown very very attached to having rooibos tea in the morning now like it's it's something that i i i got used to now and um after you have breakfast funny enough while you're breastfeeding you get very you get the munchies so around i don't know before lunch you'd also want to have a quick snack and then lunch time you have something very healthy my mom was keen on making sure i get the vegetables in mm-hmm. there was a lot of vegetables like if she made me an omelet there was it was cram packed full of veggies mm. she made me fried rice with more veggies than the rice <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So, uh it was a very restful experience and mm. then, you know, there's your you have your salt baths in there. Mm. You take coarse salt, put it in the water, sit in the warm water. Mm-hmm. Um because you're a baby, like it like 2000. Do people know that you're 2000? I guess so, 2000 don't know. <laughs> and then No, be the question there, not to yes. digress. Uh, workouts. When do workouts begin? When do you start working out? 
I know there's uh, different schools of thoughts there. Okay, yeah. That's when you can start working out. So how's been the workout for you? Have you started so, working out? Um, when did you start? Um, as a Mozezi, um, at two weeks you have a checkup at the doctor. You and the baby have a checkup, and they also have a checkup at six weeks. So at two weeks you go to the doctor. Doctor's like, mm, okay, you're healing. Okay, still no, no, no exercising. No, don't do it. Then at six weeks another checkup doctor's like all right everything is good bones back in place stitches are healed you are good to go you can work out now so the doctor recommended what a after that that's when you could work out that's when you could you know cycle if you wanted whatever type of exercise that you wanted you could do it after six weeks and it's been difficult like baby and workout because um finding the balance it's not easy to find the balance there are days when i am able to get a workout in and there are days when i'm not able to get a workout in which is quite unfortunate for me because consistency is key i mean there's no consistency with the workout so the results are not resulting i think the results are resulting the results are not resulting i feel like you're being too hard on yourself babe. Yes, there are times when I feel like I'm being too hard on myself, but it sucks when you try to jump into your favorite jeans and still, you know, <laughs> the jeans are like, nah, yeah. like, who are you? I don't know you. Mm -hmm. So, yes, it is a challenge, but um, take it one day at a time. Um, it is what it is. Now, finishing the typical day after that, there's, I get it with feeding on demand and then there's also washing of the baby the umbilical cord falling off making sure that you always clean the area hey a very small baby hey learning how to deal with a baby was i don't want to lie it was a bit it was hey it was a lot on the soul it was a lot but there is so much love good there's i can't explain how much joy it brought to me to hold this person and how much joy it still brings to me to hold this small person and even through the sleep deprivation i'm like i we're both new at this experience she's also trying to adjust i'm also trying to adjust we're just trying to figure things out we're trying to figure each other out she's trying to figure out how best to communicate with me i'm also trying my best to 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 figure out what she needs for when she's crying is it because she wants the booby is it because she needs diaper change is it because she's irritable and wants to be flipped over why is she crying so that was key and after we figured each other out, I find that it just got a bit more, it got a bit more easier. It got a bit more, honestly, enjoyable. It's, it's fun having a little person. This is just, she's learning new things every day. She's, she's someone like you. <laughs> so le 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 one and a woman to woman. <laughs> yes, so one and a woman to woman, and I honestly, I, guys. I, yeah, but well, well I'm done, babe. But I think you're doing a, a stellar job. Like I always say, oh, you know, uh, women are, are a true testament for the God does amazing things. The way your bodies are designed, the things that you can do, the patience that you guys have. Yeah, baby, I'm just complaining now. But well done, I think you're doing an, an incredible job. Uh, don't be too hard on yourself. That goes to me as well. It goes out to all the other new young parents. Yes, take don't it be one too hard day on at a time. Mm. One day at a time. You've got this. You're doing a great job. You're both learning each other. It is an experience. It's going to be filled with frustration. It's going to be filled with tears of joy and of pain. But yeah, like tears right this. now. Yeah. So thank you very much for <laughs> tuning into this episode of. Duke and Ty, it's a pleasure having you. Please do join the tribe. Well, it's well. <laughs> they say good things come to those who